unloaded gun. The smell of America. Let's see how it looks. I wanted a lower profile reflex sight for old Aunt Jemima here. Yes, my turkey gun is Aunt Jemima the second. But, moral of the story. This is a Nikon P Tactical Spur. As you can tell, it's extremely low profile. It boasts a lot of sweet features, I'll tell you that. If you guys want me to do an in-depth review of this reflex sight, drop it in the comments below. If I see one comment that asks for it, I'll do it. But today, we're showing off how to zero this son of a gun in. Now, I had already went through the process with the laser board to get close, and I shot cheap shot, target load. And what I always do is, after I get that really close, I'll switch to a turkey load. Now I shoot Longbeard XR. I'm not sighting in with Longbeard XR. I, what I do, this is Remington Nitro Turkey. It's five shot. That's what I shoot. So that's what I'm using right now. But let's see how we look at 30 yards. We ranged it. We know we're true 30. And one quick fact about this, whatever yardage you feel comfortable sighting this in, sight it in there. Then you're going to be good to, I guarantee you're good to as far as your choke can ethically and cleanly kill a turkey. So let's see where we're at. Let me get a little round here. Alright, let's see how this cheap stuff does it. Put P yard. Good? Yep. Alright, I'm going to aim at that little white circle. Unloaded gun. The smell of America. Let's see how it looks. All right, so as you can see, once again, clear weapon. I'm gonna set this down so we can look at this here. As you can see, it's a pretty open pattern, but the center looks to be a little to the left because I'm aiming here. So what we wanna do is move our red dot to the right to shift this pattern to center right here. So to do that, you take this tool right here that comes with it, push that out. The other end is for your battery cap. Now on it, you have your elevation. Down, you rotate it clockwise to go up counterclockwise. Same thing with your windage. Your right is counter, your left is clockwise. I was just laughing at the rototiller in the back. We get shit done here. Don't mind the rototilling going on. Family garden right there. So what we want to do is AKA we want a food plot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it pretty much is. These deer come right up out the swamp. What would you think? Five clicks more? Maybe three? I'd four. Four. Because I know before. Yeah, I'd do four. So we'll move this. So right here, we'll take that tool. And we want to go counterclockwise to bring that to the right. So, one, two, three, four. And then we'll shoot again, and we'll see how centered it is. We're going to shoot the same target because we can. You can tell. You just want to look for the center of your pattern. That's very key. Find what you think is the center and sight it in. Also, I sight all my reflex sights, my red dots. I sight all of that in offhand because that's how I hunt. If you would. It would be more accurate to use a lead sled. Just a quick tip. But if you want to shoot offhand like I do, it works just the same. But find your center, move it over, and if you flinch, just shoot again. Don't adjust your sight to a flinch. So let's see. Okay, so second shot. Let's see. I knew I should have tightened that. Uh, when you use Tacticam. Hey, it turned on. Make sure you tighten it. Tighten That's on. what happens. Tighten down your rail. That pattern looked good, but always finish up on a new pad or a new target so you know for sure. Because once again, this is all about providing a ethical and clean harvest. That is the main priority as an outdoorsman.
see pellets pretty tight to the circle. Let's give her a big see. Ow. You can see it's a, a lot better. This is where I'm aiming. The epicenter is probably, actually it might be right here. It just might be how that shell shoots because every shell pattern is a little different. But we're going to make two clicks to the left and then we're going to call it good. So, right there, and that's where it is. All right, so this is just a quick video on how to zero red dot the Nikon P Tactical Spur to be specific. Like, as stated, if you want me to do an in depth review of this, drop a comment below and I will. But this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it, you find it helpful or if you just like supporting the BCO boys. And always, always guys, make sure everything you take in the woods is gonna provide a clean and ethical kill. That's why we do what we do, promote the outdoors the right way. Make sure to subscribe. Got one week left of spring turkey, so hopefully we can get some more footage for y'all. <sighs> I hope, it's been, a, it's been a tough one. I hope y'all are having better success than we have been. But, it's time. Let's go roost some birds figure out where we're going to be in the morning. Have a good night, y'all.